love gold, man. I love gold. And silver's cool. Silver's cool, but when it comes to gold, gold gives me a high that silver doesn't give me. And what is that high? That high is, that high comes from the fact that sil uh, gold for thousands of years has represented wealth. Gold has been the symbol of wealth for thousands of years. And when I think about wealth, I think about the things money can buy. And for me personally, I think the most valuable thing that money can buy is time. Time is number one, in my opinion. And I think about the time I got laid off from my job. You know, at the time, this is back in 2000, the year 2000, and I was working in uh, microelectronics, but I was also growing marijuana, and I had gotten good at it. I had to set up my grow room. I got good at hydroponics and cloning and all that. I drove up to Canada and got some good seeds. So I was making good money from, from the grow room, and I didn't really need my job. And it was really boring. The job was like just incredibly boring where I'd be counting down the seconds every day till, till quitting time, you know, and I really hated it. I wanted to quit. I didn't need the job really, but I wanted the, uh, you know, the security of it, I guess. So when I got laid off, I was pretty happy. I got two months severance pay. And the first thing I did was drive, you know, directly from getting laid off to the beach. And it was a weekday, there wasn't many people at the beach. I bought a swimsuit and a towel and I was just like, probably one of the one of the greatest highs of my life, you know, that feeling of freedom that I got that day. No longer having to work, well, except for, you know, growing, you know, running the grow room. But um, it was just an amazing feeling, that feeling of freedom. Fortunately, it didn't last and everything fell apart eventually, but uh, that feeling that I got that day, that's, that's what I think about. And then the second most valuable thing, in my opinion, that money could buy is travel. And I think about when I fly to the Philippines. You know, when I land, uh, I'm on the plane and waiting for everybody to get off. I'm watching, you know, down. I'm usually in the back of the plane because I got an economy ticket. and I'm watching everybody slowly get off the plane. Then I go to immigration. And I'm always a little stressed out at immigration. I'm worried maybe they'll reject me. They won't let me in for some reason. You know, I got some skeletons in my closet, so maybe they found out something, you know. Although I got my criminal record expunged, you know, maybe they find out about, uh, you know, just, just a little paranoia that I get there. But once I get my visa stamped and then I, I head over to the luggage carousel, I feel stressed again because, you know, I'm wondering if my luggage is going to come out or did they lose it? You know, I'm watching the luggage and finally my luggage comes out and then I go to, uh, not sure what what they call that where anything to declare and I usually have stuff that I'm supposed to declare my wife gives me a list of stuff she wants me to bring her and uh, I'm supposed to declare that pay taxes on it but I'm not going to because I don't want to pay the taxes so I'm a little bit stressed there but I, I make it through that then I go change my money get in the taxi I'm going to the hotel I usually get a hotel and stay a few days in the city have some fun in the city and uh, my wife's waiting for me in the lobby of the hotel and that that feeling right there when I'm in the taxi especially when I arrive at night and I'm looking out the window of the taxi at the, the lights of this exotic country and just excited to uh, start my vacation you know so this these are the things I think about when I hold this gold, when I buy the gold, when I own the gold, I, I think about wealth and the things that money can buy. 
and it really gives me a high a high that silver doesn't give me although silver is fun you know there's a lot of cool things about silver you know just a variety of different items that you could get you know poured silver and silver rounds and silver bars constitutional silver things like this Filipino peso that's minted in America um, yeah silver's cool but it doesn't give me the high that gold gives me gold really gives me a high and it's it's that factor that it, that it represents wealth it represents all those things that money can buy time travel you know toys goods you know services all the things all the great things that money can buy and that's why it gives me a high and that's why I love gold and I'll always prefer to stack gold but silver nothing wrong with silver it's great it's fun and, and if you can't afford gold definitely silver is a good item I think about silver when I think about the first time I got laid off and I was so broke uh, I actually had to ask my roommate if I could have some of his top ramen he had some top ramen in the cupboard I'm like hey could I have some I have no, nothing to eat uh, man that, that was hard times and uh, you know I wouldn't have been able I was living on uh, I was making 250 bucks a week take home I couldn't have bought gold back then but I could have afforded silver that's another thing about silver the affordability of it but uh, I'll always love I'll always love gold and the, the high that gold gives me so keep on stacking whatever your preference is for me it's gold